Hi everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Brittany. Thank you guys who have been coming back every week to my grocery hauls for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, so this is a small grocery, well it's not really small. I had a lot of deals um, compared to what I paid. I will walk you through that in just a moment. But everything I have here is just some odds and ends that I had to go with some items I already have here at my house. I want to try to use up everything in my freezer, fridge, and deep freeze because my deep freeze is still really packed with um, meats that I haven't used and I'd like to get all that used up before I do one big grocery haul of maybe going to Sam's and spending just about 100 to 200 just strictly on meats. Um, and if you guys shop at Sam, you know that $100 goes a long way because if you get a pack of meat for $20, you can stretch it out, you know, four, five, six meals, depending on how many is in your family. So I wanted to get things that um, I could make meals with. Um, I did get a few other meats, though, um, to go with it and a few things to make meals with. I'm going to just try to use up my meat as um, quick as possible, and then I can do a grocery haul. So like I said, I want this to try to last me at least two weeks. Um, maybe less, but I'm going to try for two weeks. So with that being said, my order total was $181.06, but I only paid $106 out of pocket. Um, $25 was a Kroger type coupon. It was $10 off if you spend $75 or more online or in store. And then since I have never used Kroger Pickup, Forgot to mention, this is a Kroger pickup order. First time using it, it went great. Um, they told me before anything happened or anything, what was out of stock, what they substituted. Um, I like getting, I liked, I mean, just for my one pickup, I like it better than Walmart because their fruits and vegetables and stuff was looks a lot better than how it would if I was to go to Walmart. I don't like doing Walmart pickup. Um, I randomly do it. Um, so anyways, with it being my first pickup, I got um, $15 off when I spend $35 or more on a pickup and then $10 off if I do a pickup or in-store off of $75. So I used both of those, which was $25. And then with coupons and uh, other coupons on their app and other deals, um, I got uh, $50.06 off again, um, extra. So $181 and I only paid $106 out of pocket. Um, so that was not too bad. I think I ended up saving a little over $75 or right at $75. So that was a major sale, you guys. So all this was $181 and all I paid was $106. Um, so let me walk you through what I got. If you guys have been here before, you know I'm a little all over the place. My cold stuff is mixed with my canned stuff. I do apologize. I try to get it in there. Um, I have my um, dishes drying on one side so I have to use the smaller part of my cabinet instead of stretching it all over um, so anyways we will get into that now so the first thing I got here I'm gonna show you is bread because I just have it sitting on top um, I noticed last time I got the Kroger hot dog bun breads um, they wasn't bad I prefer the other ones but if you guys know we're doing non-inflammatory which is also sugar-free these don't have any um, sugar in them and they're also suitable for vegans it says on the back and it's made with um it is it is white flour but it's made with enriched wheat flour and it's got no high fructose corn syrup um so they're really good to be a dollar um they have a lot of you know a lot of good things going about them so i got those because i can't find the wheat buns anywhere i've looked at walmart albertson's and kroger and i cannot find the wheat hot dog buns so the next bread I got was, it was also a Kroger brand. It's, well, it's their private selection brand. It's the sugar-free, 100% whole wheat wide pan bread. And I got this to make sandwiches and stuff um, for this week. Now, as far as meal plan, you guys, I'm going to throw up a few options um, that I think I'm going to make on on a um in clip of this so you guys can kind of get a feel of what next week's what's for dinner will be this this video will go up saturday uh, august 7th and then my what's for dinner will go up sunday august 8th and um so you will kind of see what next week uh what's for dinner will sort of be like but this week it was kind of all over the place we had anniversary um you know outs and things like that so we you know we didn't cook as much but you guys will get a feel of sort of what i'm doing for next week so with that being said, 
I picked up this for tonight. Um, so they start making these early in the morning, but this one was made at 2 o'clock, and I picked up my order at 2.15, uh, 2.30-ish. So this was great because this had just came out the oven. I picked up one at Albertsons a few weeks ago, if you guys remember, and we did not like that. It was very dry, but this one is very juicy. I mean, I can press it, and juices just go in everywhere. There's juices all in the bottoms. So we're going to have this for supper. It's already 3.30 now, so when I go to put it in the oven to reheat it this evening, I will pour some of the juices over it and also maybe throw just a little bit of butter in there to keep it hydrated, and then I can pour more juices on top of it when it's done. I'll keep that in the in the um, in the fruit in the microwave until um, it's time to eat. And I'm not sure what sides we'll have, either a salad or something. Um, so you guys will see that on next week's what's for dinner. So like I was saying, their strawberries and fruits and vegetables and everything was really well. I mean, these strawberries look wonderful. I mean, I don't think I could have picked them better myself. <laughs> So these are on sale for two for three or $1.50 a pack. That was the cheapest they had on sale this week. Um, normally I wouldn't do all my grocery shopping at Kroger, but I couldn't pass up a $75 um, savings. If I spun $181, I got everything for $106. So that was a very, very good deal that I had. I could not pass up. So we are um, completely out of butter. I have like maybe a teaspoon or tablespoon left. So I'll grab two of these blue bonnets. I like to keep these around just if I run out. And like I said, since this is going to last me two weeks, um, I'm going to try for two weeks. I want to make sure we have plenty of butter. So I'll grab two of those. I also grab the Smart Balance uh, Extra Virgin Olive Oil um, Butter. And this is supports healthy cholesterol, omega-3, everything like that. No sugar or anything. Um, I really like this. Um, I got some bananas, and they did such a wonderful job. I said green bananas, and they got me some green bananas. I also got some lettuce. We're going to have tacos or something one day, or shrimp tacos, something something to do with tacos. So I wanted to get a head of lettuce. I also got three of the ramen tomatoes, if you guys can see. I got a head of broccoli. So I want to do one day um, some Buffalo um, chicken wings that I have still from Sam's you guys know I bought a 10 pound bag and we are still eating on it um, So I thought I would do some carrots and broccoli with it um, With those we like that when we go out. We don't really get fries or nothing. We get like uh, broccoli and celery and things I thought I had celery on there, but I must have accidentally took it off So we will definitely have that Um, I got some Mexican style blend and now I know a lot of the grocery hauls I watch that shops at Kroger they get the Kroger brand cheese which is the Simply Truth Organics um, and then they also have the actual Kroger brand I know a lot of people get that but I um, I'm not too good with um, generic cheese I'm not already a cheese fan so when I do eat cheese I want it to sort of be really good um, so I thought I would try this one. It's the organic brand of theirs. It's non-GMO, um, organically raised, um, you know, pasteurized cows and stuff. So I thought maybe this would be good. I'll let you guys know once we use it how we like it. Um, my husband eat it. He likes any cheese, but I'm not really a cheese fan. So like I said, when I do eat it, I like to have like a good name brand um, that I eat. That's not really being picky. I, I feel, I just feel like um, if I'm going to eat it, I'd rather have something I really enjoy. So I have been looking everywhere for the sugar-free puddings, and they had the chocolate and vanilla, but the chocolate and vanilla are $2.99, but if you get just the chocolate, they're only a dollar. So I thought I would just get two chocolates since they were $2 cheaper. I also got two of the banana cream um, jello sugar freeze. I'm going to try to make another banana pudding. Um, as you can see, I got the bananas. But I want to try with these sugar free shortbreads. Um, they're more of a softer one. And I thought I would try that and see how it would taste. Um, so you guys will probably see that on a video as well. Another banana pudding, just a different way and with a different brand cookie. Um, so I thought this was bigger. I didn't really. <laughs> I didn't realize how small 8 ounces are, but I do have two more cubes up in my cabinet. We're going to do chicken spaghetti one day. That would be for my husband because I do not eat that. Um, another thing, they had these for 3 for 10, but I only picked up two. They are good dates, uh, August 11th for the Caesar salad and August 12th for the peppercorn ranch. So it looks like it's got radishes and everything in it, and then the ranch has the peppercorn in it. So I thought that would be something to try. We have never had that. 
Um, so we need stock up on soups because we don't have any soups in the house. Um, we have actually been eating them. I had a chicken and rice the other day. The last can and my husband had his last two cans of chicken and sausage gumbo. He likes the Campbell's Chunky. But these are really high. I think they're like $2.79 if you don't catch them on sale. But I found these Campbell ones, uh, which is also the same brand. It's just not chunky. And they're the chicken gumbo. Sorry, I realize my thing is... There we go. So... These were only a dollar, I think a dollar oh six a piece. So I got those for him to try and we'll see how he likes them. Um, as far as me, I wasn't, I didn't want any uh, chicken noodle soup or anything like that this week. And also because they were a um, dollar seventy five a can. Again, if you don't catch them on sale, they're really high. Um, so I found these microwavable vegetable soups and they're good until October 19th on one. Let me see if they're all the same. October 14th. And October 19th. So these are good to October 14th and 19th um, this year. So a good two, uh, two and a half months out of these. So I thought they would be good to try and also keep in the freezer for stock up if we get sick or anything. But it's made with carrots, potatoes, cabbage, green beans, and green peas. So I thought we could give this a try. Um, but I'm also thinking one day I could also do this as a meal instead of like a lunch or just a stock up. Maybe put some beef meat in there or like pork stew meat or something like that um i'll definitely try that and see how that turns out and show you guys so another thing back here we got is we got some mild traditional salsa we got this the last time we went to kroger's and it was really really good and we ate it all <laughs> so i grabbed another one also it was completely out of mayo so i grabbed some of the mayo with olive oil so we haven't had any macaroni and cheese or anything like that lately, so I wanted to grab this. It was the Velveeta broccoli. These things are so expensive, um, so I just grabbed one. But they did have these on sale. They are a dollar a nineteen or twenty nine a piece, um, but they were buy four you get a dollar off. So I grabbed four of them, and it was on the cauliflower one which we seem to really like these with the cauliflower pasta. So I grabbed four of these. Let me see what's the date. That's the only thing with doing these pickups, you guys, is you don't know the dates. So these are good until 2022. So they are all good to 2022 of January. So a good about six months on these. So that would be good to stock up in our pantry for six months. Um, I'm also sort of doing like a stock up. Every time we go now, I want to get things that we're not regularly eating, but we can also stock up on it. Um, so definitely all of these cauliflower pastas will be in there these soups will stay in there okay so moving over to the cold items i got some more honey not honey ham some more um deli uh turkey meat we keep trying different ones this one is the k the boar heads cajun style turkey breast it was 10.39 they only let you choose a pound online so i just got a pound of it and as you can tell it's got plenty of seasoning so i cannot wait to try that on a good sandwich that's why we got that honey wheat uh, bread. Also got some of these vegetable egg rolls. I think these are served um, through them. Um, oh, no, I think they're... Yeah, they just come in the cold section. But they're good until the 18th of August. So we're going to give these a try. I also got... with To go with these, I was going to get some... Um, those little shrimp fried rices out the freezer but they were out of stock on those and I told them I didn't want any other brand so they just uh, did it out of stock but normally I only like the shrimp ones but I thought I would give the chicken and vegetable dumplings a try and these are the lean lean brands Asian kitchens um, so I wanted to try those I think these are on sale for six dollars and you get quite a bit um, yeah it's about 20 pot stickers in there so that that'll be a good uh, lunch um, snack and also dinner so as far as the meats go, I got one of the natural chicken breast tenders. Um, these were a dollar, no, six forty nine a pound. So this is a little over a pound, just barely over a pound. Um, I don't know what happened here. So I picked up, I wanted one pound of the diced pork stew meat, um, just one pound. They were supposed to be two ninety nine a pound. So that's what it said, but then I realized that they charged me almost $10 because they gave me 3.54 pounds. I'm not sure why, um, but it's okay. I'll just freeze them and that'll be two different meals I can do with it. Um, these are really good if you've ever made a red gravy or anything. Um, I don't know if any guys know about red, you know, tomato gravies or anything like that. I plan on showing that one day soon because that is my all-time favorite 
rice and gravy recipe ever. Anytime I go to my grandma's, I'm begging her to make red gravy. So we also got this. This was finally in stock. I was praying it was in stock when I put it in. It is the JTM's Beef Philly Cheesesteak Kits. So in these kits here, you literally get everything you need. You get the steaks, the rolls, the diced onions, and the mozzarella cheese. The only thing I add is sometimes I add some fresh uh, bell peppers or something, but that is not in this set necessary um you can definitely cook it just like this and it is plenty so i grabbed that um and this comes in here to make four we usually only eat one a piece and we are good so we can use this for one supper and a lunch or two lunches i also wanted some saltine crackers for our cabinet um to have with the soups these are good until january 2022 so a good for about a year i mean about six months my bad um, so this is another thing they had. Uh, if you buy one, you get one free. And these are the sugar-free strawberry licorice. So I thought we would have that this week. You guys know we're doing the sugar-free. So it's been hard to find um, certain candies and stuff. They also have Red Diamond uh, Sugar-Free Tea. It's made with uh, Splenda. So I thought I would give this a try. See if I like it. See how it is. I'm trying to see, is it? No, it's not leaking. I thought it was leaking. Um, and see how I like it. I know, I know I can make regular tea, but they have this on sale for a dollar. So I just said, why not? Um, I also grabbed my husband some of his rich crackers. He likes the whole wheat. And we needed some sour cream because every time we make tacos, I forget sour cream. And I love sour cream on my tacos. And the last thing we got here was the 18 bag of the baked chips so these come with the baked plain cheddar and sour cream barbecue crunchy cheese and the popcorn so thank you guys so much for watching i will leave my meal plan uh somewhat of a meal plan on the end of this video and i will see you guys tomorrow for our what's for dinner